Okay. Hey, uh, so this is just a quick video to help you install R and R Studio on your home computer or your desktop or your laptop. Um, you can use the virtual machine at view.truman.edu or install uh, the client that makes that easier to use. That's a different video. But if you'd like to run it on your own machine, here's how you might do it. Okay, so the software interface that we use is called R Studio. And you can see here, I just Googled it and it's from a company called Posit. It actually used to be called R Studio, the company, but they changed it to Posit because they wanted to sell things to people who weren't using R. So um, here you go. So it's a two-step process. First, you want to install R and you do that just by clicking on that button. Um, if you're using a Mac, of course, this will be different. And you want to install R for the first time. So you download the software. Um, that is there and it will install on uh, your downloads. Then you just double click on that and walk through uh, the steps to do that installation. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, and just take the defaults and it'll make a, a folder for you. It'll make a shortcut, all those things. It actually goes pretty quick, which is why I'm doing it right here while you're watching. Um, it doesn't take very long at all to do. And now you're finished. Then you go back here and now you do part two, which is where you install our studio. And you click down here to do that. And again, if you're on a Windows machine, you just download that. And that takes just a second to do as well. And then I must have double clicked it three times, so that's no good. Okay. Then you uh, double click that and walk through the installation steps. So it should be pretty easy to do. Um, and again, it makes a folder and all of those things. Notice that it takes a little bit longer to do because it installs graphical interfaces. It installs uh, LaTeX, which you'll need um, if you're gonna turn your documents into PDF files, which is actually a thing we do in the class. Um, and it goes from there. I'll actually pause the recording for a second uh, until it's done. Okay, and that just took a minute or two. I probably could have left it run. And then when you're done, you click uh, finish. 